Memristor is the fourth passive electronic component, proposed in 1971 by Leon Chua and first observed in 2008 by HP Labs. What is the canonical implementation of Memristor? If a wire is resistive, two parallel plates separated by dielectric is capacitive and a coiled wire is inductive. Does there exist a simple implementation of a Memristor? Let us build the world's simplest Memristor. Take a set of steel balls, two pair of screws, and a vinyl tube. Now insert four to five steel balls of, say, two centimeter diameter into the tube. Put screws on both the sides of vinyl tube to make contacts. This two-terminal device is now a memristor, the world's simplest memristor. Can you believe it? Let's see how it works. This is a simple setup to do the first configuration for our memristor. We have put our memristor in series with a resistor, with one terminal of the memristor grounded. We plot the voltage across the memristor versus the input voltage, which is proportional to the memristor current voltage characteristics. You can clearly see that it is nonlinear. This nonlinearity is dependent on the pressure that you apply across the device and the point contact area. If a high pressure is applied, it becomes a short circuit, a linear resistor, as you would have expected. If the pressure is released, it becomes an open circuit. Somewhere between these two states, it shows a nonlinear behavior. It takes quite a bit of patience and time to arrive at the nonlinear curve, but with practice, it becomes easy. We first give a rising triangle wave current input to the device. This is followed by a falling triangle wave. You will see that there is a burst of pulses with same amplitude, followed by those with a different amplitude. Now let us look at the device IV curve. What do you observe? For same amplitude pulses, the same curve is retraced. However, every time the amplitude is first increased, it traces a new curve a new resistance state. Thus we see the resistance is a function of the maximum current flown through the device. It changes every time a larger current than previously experienced is fed in. Lower amplitude signals than previously experienced do not change the curve. The device remembers the maximum current experienced and the resistance curve then. Now, to qualify the device to be a memristor, we apply a bipolar signal to the device. You can see the signal on the screen. It has both positive and negative pulses. What do we observe? We see that on the positive pulse, the resistance decreases to a lower value. This is what we observed before as well. However, on the negative pulse, the resistance increases to a higher resistance state you can see the famous pinched hysteresis loop. This qualifies the simple arrangement of metal balls as memristor. This memristor was used as a coherer during the early days of wireless communication, used by various researchers including Marconi, Lodge, Tesla, among others. However, the first pinched hysteresis in first quadrant was observed by J.C. Bose and was reported to the Royal Society. Historically, coherers were replaced by cat's whisker, 
which is the solid-state diode patented by J.C. Bose. We obtained an antique setup of the cat's whisker. Our experiments show that it also has memristive properties. We have just shown how we made the world's simplest memristor. Build one for yourself now.